Good morning, Viola. Many, many years ago, a wise woman told me to memorize Psalm 1, saying it is the door or the gateway to the entire book of Psalms. I did memorize Psalm 1 in Afrikaans, and most days I, I quote it to myself. It is just one of those go-to passages in life. Allow me to read Psalm 1, verses 1 to 3 with you today. <clears throat> Blessed is the man who do not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaves does not wither. Whatever he does, prospers. Wow. Verse 1 begins with a wonderful word, blessed. And immediately after it tells us about our separation. But verse 2, the verse that I want to focus on today, tells us about meditation but their delight is in the law of the Lord and in its law they meditate day and night. If you want to be blessed you have to study the book that is full of blessing. You have to delight in it and meditate on what it says day and night. The law is all scripture and to meditate is to think out and pray out its implications for all life. And to delight in it means not merely to comply, but to love what God commands. We have our attitude towards God changed from one of duty to free, loving, self-giving people because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. So to know how to meditate, um, meditate on and delight in the Bible is the secret to relationship with our Father and, and to life itself. This week, I will be concluding the study of the Psalms for our devotions, but I do want to encourage you to continue meditating and finding delight in the Psalms. Say them, pray them, and knit them into your everyday life. The uh, Application Study Bible gives reasons to read the Psalms. When you want to find comfort, when you want to meet God intimately, to learn a new prayer, to learn a new song, to learn more about God, to understand yourself more clearly, to know how to come to God each day, to be forgiven for your sins, to feel worthwhile, to understand why you should read the Bible, to give praise to God, uh, to know that God is in control, to give thanks to God, to please God, to know why um, you should worship God. And then this beautiful concluding paragraph that I just have to share with you. Um, God's word was written to be studied, understood and applied. And the book of Psalms lends itself most directly to application. We understand the Psalms best when we stand under them and allow them to flow over us like a shower of rain. We may turn to Psalms looking for something, but sooner or later we will meet someone, and that someone is in capital letters. As we read and memorize the Psalms, we will gradually discover how much they are already part of us. They put into words our deepest hurts, longings, thoughts, and prayers. They gently push us towards being what God designed us to be, people loving and living for him. Beautiful. To conclude, 
When Jesus met the disciples after his resurrection, Luke tells us that he taught them about himself from the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Luke 24 verse 44. In other words, he showed how he was spoken of in the world of the Old Testament. And in particular, we know that we can learn about Christ from the Psalms. Jesus probably knew them um, off by heart, hearing it from childhood in synagogue service, in a service of prayers. He quoted them all the time in his temptations, in his teaching, in his recorded prayers on the cross. And his final prayer is into your hands, I commit my spirit. Psalm 31 verse 5. So, so since the days of Jesus, personal prayer has been so important for us Christians to meditate on God's word to the point of delight will surely give us stability and contentment regardless of our circumstances. Jesus set the example of praying the Psalms and daily prayer and he instructed us on how to pray. So shall we pray the Lord's Prayer together today? Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Have a lovely day.